Okay, let's see if this works. Just back, just got that going. It's been a heck of a couple of weeks. I uh, obviously moved, as you can tell by the background, and my mother's home now. And uh, I couldn't stay there. You know, I just through all the things. Not only that, this most recent incident. There's been incidents. That's why I call it Hell House. Okay, you know, the wife died. Everything, all you know, the ups and downs, mostly downs. So I went ahead and bailed on out. I don't know what picture behind me. It's just my mother. And uh, wow, what a ride! I looked like hell. I went, you know, go ahead and go ahead and clean up, knock this beard off, because uh, my research. And by the way. Everybody, most of what I did was because the opportunity presented itself as a learning experience. Now I have learned quite a bit as far as prepping and survival and dealing with the uh, reality of it. <laughs> I don't know anyone that, not one, that no, that chime up, you know, any of the other preppers that don't watch my channel because I'm me, right? You ain't got nothing on me now. I lost everything, everything, except for what I could grab, stuff in a truck two or three times. Maybe I can go back and get the stuff, but I, I can't, huh. Talk about it. I'm so sick every time I think about it. And the transition between that and this, it's such a hard, right, hard, uh, hard landing. I don't know how to explain it. Um, situation. So I'm really, really sick. Coming out of it, doing a little better. I've got a little routine going now and this and that. i got a bigger yard. There'll be other videos because this is a real learning experience. I'll address some of the other comments and mentionings that I've seen since I've been gone for the week 10 days. Wow, I can't believe. Someone accused me of killing my own dog. I cannot even come close to understanding that. Yeah, and I'll tell you this, another thing. Of all the things, in a couple of months, I was gone anyway. The only reason I was doing that was to train up as to how to do that because of where you all know, you know, my land in Winnemucca, and I can say it, you know, I'm not there. I didn't want to say that to all them people. And, uh, you know, to get up, get my stuff that I'm going to set up there, work it before I set it up instead of being out there in the middle of nowhere and, oh, I guess that don't work. So that's that thing. Other people say, oh, you're just doing that to be getting money, and I was doing pretty good with the ads, right, as far as people sending me money, well, thank you, it was, it's not my goal, it was not at all my goal, my goal was the research that I conducted for the findings that I now have, that's what that was about, and now I'm done. Now, the final lesson was if you got pried out like a tooth out of your soft spot that you had comfortably had created in your survival effort, right? And what if you just popped out of there and uh, off you go with what you can stuff in a truck two or three days and go. I did that. I lost, like I said, I lost almost everything. Everything. House, home, shelter, food, everything, dog, wow, and if you guys can't appreciate what I've done and, and, and shared it with you, and I'm going to continue to share, I don't know what else to tell you, but hey, keep watching, you never know, I don't care, I can take it all, and uh, it's all a learning experience, now, I've cut off my 
research. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to go practical application to get onto my goals. And there it is. All right. Goodbye, your wits, and not by your worries. Peace. All right.